and greetings. On this video, I'll show how do you change the port after you've actually set up a uh, only office server. And let's say you want to change it to a different port. I'll show you how do you do that. So uh, let me bring over. Uh, so I already have a actual server that we've been working on. So and we're going to continue with the, doing this. So the last octet that I'm using is 119. Okay, so let me go ahead and log in. Oops. So you, we can actually see that, uh, you know, I can log in and so forth. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let me sign out and let me show you how you do this. Let me close that out. Let me open a terminal. Now I'm going to go ahead and SSH to the server, but if you're obviously using it on the, your same computer, then you would skip this part. So let me go ahead and SSH. Okay, same IP address. Let me log in. Okay, so here we are logged in. Let me go ahead and uh, clear this. Okay, the, the first thing that we're going to do is it, pretty pretty simple. The first thing we're going to do is do a sudo docker ps-a as an apple. Okay, so the one that we're going to look for or the, the important one is this community server which this is the actual ID to the, that container. So I'm going to copy that. Let me clear this. What I'm going to do now is do a sudo docker stop because I want to stop that container and just paste that. Hit enter and you can see if you didn't get an error, that means it stopped the container itself. The next thing I'm going to do is remove that container. So it's going to be sudo docker uh, remove RM obviously and then again the, the I'm just gonna paste the that container and there it is you saw that I, I got no error so that means it removed that container so I'm gonna clear this so it doesn't get too cluttered the next thing I'm gonna do is actually run the, com the command and I'll put it on descriptions what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna copy it and paste it so uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so, uh, you know, Docker, we're not going to install anything else except for the uh, community server. Okay, so hit enter, and you'll see that you get like a more than or less than sign. What we're going to do, I'm just going to paste this, and we'll dissect it. This is the port that the that is on the WAN side. Here you would actually enter whatever port you want. On my case, I'm gonna put port 85 for testing. And then everything else you could leave the same. And remember, you end it with a backslash. Hit enter, and you're gonna get the the more than less than sign. Remember the the last piece of the command has no backslash. That tells Docker that this this is the end. Hit enter. So let me clear this set the swap. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new swap file. So here we go, sudo uh, swap file. And then obviously the chmod. So I'm going to sudo chmod 600. And which file? Well, the swap file. Okay, so the swap file and hit enter to that. And then we're going to actually make this readable. So sudo. And we're going to make our swap. Forward slash swap. Oops. Swap file. Yes. Oops. Sudo. Yeah. 
and then which one well swap okay and at that point all we're gonna do is just reboot it so sudo reboot or I'm 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 just stuck with the sudo init 6 we'll just wait for that to kick in okay so let me go ahead and open the browser and here we are images and what we're gonna do line 2 dot one six eight dot one dot one one nine and remember I, I put a new port which was port 85 and there you can see now the docker starting to kick in we're gonna let it complete completely boot up and now we can actually see this um, fully loaded let me go ahead and log in so we can show And there we are. It's up and running uh, now on an actual new port. Um, again, all that good jazz. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.